right, uh, Tanner Mangum, the uh, BYU quarterback, freshman quarterback, but not your ordinary freshman quarterback, 22 years of age, spent a couple of years in Chile on a Mormon mission, and I don't think there's much football played on those Mormon missions. They lost to UCLA over the weekend. I'm looking at some of the comments there, and uh, you know, Tanner Mangum's like, hey, you know what? We played well. You know, love, love my teammates, and uh, we move forward to the next game, and uh, he joins us now. How did you stay so positive after a tough loss to UCLA? Well, I think, you know, just as a team, we have to remember that it's on to the next week. You know, there's not a lot of time to, to hang your head. You kind of just have to keep your head up, um, stay positive, and, and focus on the next week. And, um, you know, football season is a, it's a long, long season, so you can't, can't dwell on, on one game for too long. You just got to, you know, pick yourselves up and uh, get ready for the next one. Yeah, but I'm looking at the quote, grateful for opportunities to learn and improve, excited for what's coming uh, this week, on to the next, uh, love my team, so proud to be a Cougar. This is right after a tough loss. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the attitude we got to have, uh, it's, you know, especially coming back from a tough loss. Uh, we got to be, be grateful for the opportunity to, to play again, you know. It's not the end. It's not the end of the season. Uh, just one game, so now we got to you know improve, get better this week, so that we can come back on on Saturday and, and be better. How good so was so UCLA? Something we should be something we should be excited about. How good was UCLA? Oh, they were they were great. You know, a good team. They they obviously showed, uh, you know, why they are a top ten team in the country. They you know, tough defense uh, and a resilient offense. You know, and they kept going, they kept pounding the ball. Uh, you know, running running the ball downfield and. And defense was uh, was tough. They were physical, and, uh, and you know it was a good challenge for us. It was a, it was a fun game to play in. Now you had a game with two freshman quarterbacks, but there's a little bit of difference between you and Josh Rose in there, Tanner. Yeah, just a little bit age-wise. Four years? Yeah, about four years. I think so. <laughs> How much did you follow BYU when you were on your mission? Football. Um, not not a whole lot. May, more than anything, my my family would would uh, would tell me in in, in their weekly emails to me. They would just let me know the result of the game, if it was a win or a loss. They didn't tell me the details. Uh, so I, I knew a little bit of what was going on, but, uh, but not too much. Can you practice football when you're on your Mormon mission? Uh, you, you, we have a half hour each morning to, to do exercises. And then one day a week where we kind of have some free time and, and you know, play, to play some sports. But uh, you know, being down there in, in South America, everyone plays soccer. So definitely wasn't playing too much football. I threw the football around, you know, a few times every few months, just playing catch. Uh, it definitely wasn't my focus. It wasn't my priority. Uh, so I wasn't too worried about it. But uh, how do you benefit from that as a football player going on a Mormon mission? I think there there are a lot of things that uh, that, that you learn that uh, that that change you as a person. Uh, I learned a lot of life lessons. Uh, it made me a much better individual. You know, learn, learning life lessons like hard work and uh, and persistence and, and patience and understanding what's really you know important in life. Uh, coming back and carrying over to, carrying that over to the football field, it's helped me just have a a new perspective on things. It helped me to, to stay patient through hard times stay calm in adversity, and uh, to keep working hard and to stay persistent no matter what happens, just to keep your head up and uh, to stay, stay positive and keep going. But how important is football in life in your uh, church? Oh, well, obviously football is a passion of mine and something that I love to do and, and something we're all passionate about here at BYU. Um, but we understand that we're also playing for something a lot bigger than us. You know, it's not just, just football. It's not just us. For some, we're playing for something you know, bigger than that. It's something that we wanna we wanna use as you know as a as a vehicle to to get our message out there, and, and it's something that uh that that gets us you know some national exposure, which is which is which is great. Does God care who wins? I don't think so. Uh, you know, obviously sports aren't everything, but uh, he does care. He cares about us as individuals. Uh, so, you know, obviously sports aren't everything in life, but uh, it's something that that uh that's fun to play. It's something that's fun to do. It's a uh, Obviously, something that many people are passionate about. Something that I'm definitely passionate about. Um, so it's uh, you know it's, it's a it's a great a great part of life. Your teammates give you a little grief about being a 22 year old freshman. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's something a little bit, you know, something you don't see that that often. But it, it happens here at BYU. You know, with with people going on missions, something that uh, that happens more a little bit more than than other universities. 
uh, and I, I definitely sometimes I, I you know sometimes I forget that I'm still a freshman just because of the you know how, of how much time I've I've spent, but. It's all good. I don't. I don't think about it too much. I don't really worry about it. He's a BYU quarterback Tanner Mangum joining us, Dan Patrick Show. I'm looking at all the schools that recruited you. Tell me. Tell me if I got this list right. Arkansas, Boise State, Oregon, Oregon State, Stanford, Utah, and Washington State. Yeah, that's, a, that's about right. Okay, if you didn't go to BYU, you would have gone where? Uh, probably Boise State. I kind of had it narrowed down to, to those two schools. Yeah, I, I grew up being a huge fan of, of both Boise State and BYU. Um, and I grew up going to all the games. I, mean, I grew up five minutes from the stadium. Oh, man. Um, you know, and really, you know, really grew close to Coach Chris Peterson and, and uh, you know, really big, big fan of the program. So, you know, it was, uh, you know, a tough decision. But I, I, I knew that, you know, BYU was, uh, was where I needed to be. Where it was, it was the right place for me. All these schools know that you were going to go on a mission. Yeah, they they did, and and, and uh, they're all supportive of it. Um, something that uh, you know I, I was really grateful for. Uh, most famous BYU alum is who? Oh, that's tough. Probably Steve Young. Have you met him? I have. How'd that go? Uh, it was, it was cool. <laughs> you know, he's he's a legend here. Uh, at BYU, and, and he's he's a nice guy. He's actually uh, he lives lives close to my to my aunt and uncle in uh, in Palo Alto, California. Really nice guy. Um, so it, it was a you know a cool opportunity to meet to meet him. Picture autograph? Do you do that? Uh, I, we got we got a picture together. Um, <laughs> uh, well, there's obviously you, you get a little bit starstruck, you know, when, when you when you see a guy like that. Now you didn't drive by his house in Palo Alto, right? You didn't do that a no. couple times, or did you bring a football with you to stop by? <laughs> no, I, I didn't do that. Maybe next time, though. Hey, good luck and uh, congrats on this start so far, and uh, thanks for joining us. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you.